Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Um, so you may have seen for the past few weeks, um, I was sent a couple of drums by the drum company Cosmo Sky and it's been so much fun to play around with them. Um, and I actually already had one um, that I bought myself several months ago. <laughs> so I just wanted to do a real quick comparison of all the drums that you can get from these guys because they're really, really good drums. And I just want to talk them up because they're so much fun. <laughs> um, so we're going to look at, this one is 12 inches um, and it has two sides. It's their double-sided drum, um, which I got because I think it's the coolest thing. <laughs> You've got um, two different keys that you can play around with without having to take um, a drum <laughs> or two drums somewhere. And also you don't have to mess around with magnet tuning. Although actually, um, when I got this one, I made sure that one was in sort of a major key and one was in sort of a minor key <laughs> so that if I do want to mess around with some magnet tuning, I can um, because these Cosmo Sky drums are magnetic. Although, <laughs> um, I'm gonna give you a caveat about that in just a little bit, so. And today I'm also going to tell you about, um, this is the Woody Tritone drum. And the neat thing about this one is it's basically a 12 inch tongue drum, um, but then it sits on this wooden base, which sort of changes the sound. It makes it really cool. <laughs> and then um, this is their big duo tone drum. Um, I think this is about 14 or 15 inches. It's a big drum. <laughs> so I want to explain to you the biggest difference between these three drums. Um, obviously, aside from the woody base that um, this woody drum sits on, um, they're all fairly similar. The huge difference is, um, in this drum you can see these tongues are all sitting there, but there's no cuts in the tongues. Um, and then in the duo tone and the woody tritone, you see that there's slits in the tongues. Um, so you may ask, why are those there? <laughs> well, that's a fantastic question, um, but it takes a little bit of a history lesson. So tongue drums evolved from these instruments called hand pans. Um, and hand pans were designed to be this um, cool, improvisational, fun instrument, um, which is where you get all the fun tongue drum scales from. Um, but the way that they're tuned is super interesting. Um, on each of their little tone fields, which is basically like the circle of metal, um, one way is tuned to an octave, one way is tuned to a fifth, um, and then the bass tone field is tuned to that lower octave of the same note. So when you hit the note, you get a whole lot of resonance because you hear three notes at once. It's really beautiful. <laughs> now, um, they were super popular, these hand pans, and really hard to get a hold of. Um, so that's how the tongue drum was invented. It's basically um, a riff on the idea of a metal musical instrument, which is very cool. Um, but when they designed tongue drums, um, the very first drums were just made with these tongues, um, which is, um, you can't really make additional notes with just these tongues. So when I play this note, that note is all you hear. <laughs> so Kosmoski kind of came up with this brilliant idea where if you cut some slits into the tongue of the drum, you can tune those other notes, the octave and the fifth into there. Um, so you're hearing those three notes at once while you play, just like a hand pan, um, which really opens up the resonance and the drum, the voice of the drum. So I'm gonna go ahead and do some comparisons between these three. Um, so you can kind of hear the difference um, that those slits really make, the difference of those overtones, because it's amazing. Now, of course, the other thing you're going to want to consider when you're deciding whether to buy a tongue drum or what one you want to buy um, is the price. So if you're looking at the Cosmoski website and you think, um, wow, that duo tone sounds amazing, um, but also <laughs> it's over $400 and that seems like a lot. Or if you really like the Woody Tritone, um, but you're thinking, wow, 500, that's just too much for me. And you want to just try a Cosmo Sky drum, um, then this one is the way to go. <laughs> I think they also make little nine inch ones that are less expensive, 
But this 12 inch one, um, if you just get a single side, it's a little over $200. Um, and if you're going double sided, it can get closer to $300, but you still have <laughs> two tundrums, which is awesome. <laughs> So that is my comparison of the Cosmo Sky Tongue Drums. Um, if you would like to grab one for yourself, I will put a link to their website down in the description. And also they sell on Etsy, um, which I'll also put down there. And you can see some reviews of their drums from other people on there, which is always kind of fun. <laughs> if you have any questions, please do feel free to ask me in the comments. I love hearing from you guys. Um, and I really appreciate all your support and love to give back. <laughs> Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you have an absolutely wonderful day. Thank you all so much for watching. If you would like to subscribe to my channel, go ahead and click on that subscription button right up there. Otherwise, if you would like to join my Patreon or buy me a coffee, the links to those are down in the description. <laughs> I hope you have an absolutely wonderful day.